the concern is that nobody is really educating on anything of value. However, it's disguised as if they're so great. Act like the person that you want to become before you become the person that you want to become. It's communism. It's called posturing. We're not in the 19, 1997 that line would have worked, but now we're in an era of communism. And so you cannot teach like that, which means none of you have evolved as educators. Everything these people are teaching is nothing more than fuel to bring people in offense, meaning moving their number box of the following in fandomhood based on provocative, illogical communism. It's like, in your mind, you have to ask yourself, how did people think that it was normal to take and turn in your neighbor to Gestapo? It's the same thing going on with all of these people. For some, although, you know, some of these Gestapo, like Mona Van, she gets enjoyment out of gas chambering people because it brings some sort of, of filling her holes up of the gap of what she didn't get as a child. She loves the fact that Gary V's on her arm while she holds a diamond. She loves the fact that she is wearing these white outfits and going on these trips. It should really disgust you as an audience to take a look and see how she behaves attached to the ideas of being with Gary Vaynerchuk. It should make you sick to your stomach, but it's questionable whether you even see the truth because you're over there licking her a-hole and telling her how wonderful she is and how Eat Clean is so gracious and great, and then you pose for photography? That's communism. The smile on her face is communism because she's abusing me. They all are, which means they're all terrorists and they're doing the same to you. They're not teaching anything of value. You standing on the corner in California, Gary V, with her lifting her leg in the air and erotically leaning in to kiss her for one of your first photos together, you're going to tell me that that's value? No, that's communism. That happened five years ago when Gary V was speaking at a conference in California. He did it in Miami. He's done it in every fucking location that they've been together. And now they're engaged. That's Gestapo shit. While she smiles and laughs and says, I'm so famous. Which was proof in the video she produced yesterday. Associated to her PIX11 uh, seminar where she talks about herself and how she likes to eat clean. While Americans... And New York, New York citizens, New York City citizens, as a focal point, as 9-11 airplanes fly into your buildings, and then you're going to just allow that shit on your fucking channel? You're just going to allow that shit in your fucking face by a Persian who's from Iran, who literally just flew... Missiles over into Israel. Her name is Motivan, folks. She supposedly was born in California. Her mother and her father got divorced, allegedly. And then the brother stays with the father in California, allegedly. And she supposedly lives in New York City. But there is no record of her being anywhere in this country. While she speaks Farsi... She's a liar. That's called communism. And even worse, it's called terrorism. And you just stand there and you fight for Palestine? You might want to consider they're up to the same shit. That's embarrassing for an American to believe in a Palestinian. We're now celebrating one year in to genocide. That's... Pink code. 
They're celebrating now one year into the genocide. Yeah, nothing's changed. I guess there's not really a genocide going on. There's just a need for attention, and that's how they're going to work together in a cult of a organized crime group to disrupt daily lives of people in different states and countries so that they have something to talk about versus sitting down and opening a book and getting some real education on existence. So they're learning how to be terrorists. They're American citizens at Yale and Harvard. Wow, what a great country we live in, Kamala Harris. You've done a really shitty job with this country. That's for damn sure. What a shit. You do know that morale has everything to do, not with the person before, has everything to do with the person currently in office. Donald Trump's not in office. Although Donald Trump lifts your spirits, which is why she always brings his name up. But I'm not going to let that happen anymore. I'm going to ensure and make sure that Donald Trump and I stay the lowest that we can possibly stay until after voting. And if he does not win, it's going to get lower and lower because we're going to be very angry at the fact that you decided to choose Kamala Harris. Because that's what Donald Trump and myself are up to is in America, you have free will. So you can either fight for your land or you can give it away for free. And Kamala Harris wants to give it away for free. That's so why she's passing out $25,000 tags. Tags to who? Migrants and first-time home buyers? With your money. Where the hell is all this money coming from? So all those little shits standing in a microphone who will never be able to afford their mortgage or a new roof or anything that has to do with repairs of a home, nor will they take care of the lawn. She's going to give a free ride to those people. So that means we're in, the, in, in store for a market crash in the future. That's what we're in store for. While you videotape it. While you as beautiful bikini models with your fake boobs and your hot men with your elite groups, do you know how disgusting it is to watch all of you? People don't relate to that shit, but Mark Zuckerberg and all you techie fools, you apparently relate to that shit. So you fucking take care of that shit. Don't put... Palestinians and Pakistanis and weird ass people in my suggested friends box because I'm on the low end of the totem pole when it comes to Facebook because that's what's happening on one of my platforms. So that tells you everything about what's actually going on and the corruption associated to the Middle East in this fucking country. And I ain't protecting y'all from shit no more. You're going to feel what Monavan actually brings to the table. You're going to feel what Monavan brings to 435,000 people. You're going to feel what 1 million people on TikTok when Monavan produces a piece of content and the horror that that bitch brings. That's not me. That's her. And you sat there and you disrespected me after the day one I told you to watch out for her bitch ass and he continued to kiss all over her, hold her fucking hand and abuse the fuck out of me while he smiled to my face and told me to, to mind my own business. So I'm minding my own business. And now you as 15 million on Gary Vee's platform, you're going to know the truth of who those people are. You're going to know the truth of who the Democrats actually are. You're going to know the truth about what BLM offers you with Jasmine Crockett. Because they try to put that shit, that negative shit on me. Oh, hell no. I'm getting more good at figuring out how to project your projections from me back to where it belongs, the voters. Because that's actually who 